Today we'll be taking an in-depth look at the VW EA888 engine, which is an engine found under the hood of the Golf R as well as in some S3 models. Now as I'm sure you have seen, these cars are quick. Go to any street to strip event and you'll be sure to see a few of these taking down some big M3s, V8 Mercedes's and even some supercars. But how do you get your Golf R or even your S3 to this stage? Well in this video we'll go through all the steps and stages of building your EA888 4 cylinder engine into a street going monster feared by all. So let's start by going into the engine itself and what it is capable of in its stock form. So Volkswagen's EA888 2 litre turbo engine, specifically the third evolution known as the Gen 3 TSI, has gained immense popularity in the VW tuning scene since its introduction in 2007 with its easy tunability and wide range of aftermarket parts. Now these engines can produce anything from 170 horsepower in the normal TSI configs all the way up to 315 horsepower in the newer R models. Now there is a reason why the Gen 3 is such a great option for tuning and it all starts with the base engine. You see VW built a really good motor here. This engine features a new cast iron cylinder block with thinner walls. Now the thinner walls make it lighter but it does make it a bit weaker but an iron block is still stronger than an aluminium unit. The motor features a dual overhead cam aluminium head with a fancy water-cooled exhaust manifold and variable valve timing on both cams. Some versions of the motor also feature dual injection with a set of injectors feeding fuel straight into the combustion chamber whilst the second set is mounted in the intake. This makes it possible to have more fuel, more power and it lowers carbon buildup in the engine. Then for high performance applications, specific engine versions such as the CJX receive further enhancements. These include a modified cylinder head shape, a performance intake camshaft, larger exhaust valves and reduced compression ratio of 9.3 to 1, which means that you can feed this engine a substantial amount of boost. Now this specific version also has upgraded pistons, more efficient injectors and a high pressure fuel pump. Now that we know the base motor, let's talk about upgrades. Let's start simple, stage 1, which is basically just a tune. Now with just the tune, you can see advancements in power of up to 90 horsepower. Additionally, upgrading the transmission control unit or the DCU tune for the DSG equipped cars improves gear changes and launch control. Cold air intakes, catalytes and inlet pipes can also be added at this stage to lay the foundation for future modifications. So at this stage, you should be close to 400 horsepower. But I know you want more, so stage 2 which can give you gains of up to 115 horsepower in the GTI models and up to 150 horsepower in the R models. Stage 2 tuning involves both software upgrades and additional supporting hardware. Along with Stage 2 software, a high pressure fuel pump upgrade is typically required to deliver sufficient fuel to the engine. Upgraded intercoolers, downpipes and high flow catalytic converters or catalytes are essential hardware upgrades for this stage. Then for a little extra, hybrid turbochargers can also be considered, providing significant power gains while retaining the stock location. With the right fuel, a good hybrid turbo and all the mods listed, your EA888 unit can produce around 480 horsepower. But to get over the 500 mark, you will need quite a bit more work and have some deeper pockets. So let's talk about stage 3. Now stage 3 should see figures of between 500 and 600 horsepower and could even be more depending on the hardware used and the size of the turbo. But if you slap the mother of all turbos on there, you will lose down low responsiveness. So this is where you need to choose between massive power or a more usable power band. Now the stock internals in this motor is good for around 500 to 550 depending on how long you want the motor to last. I have seen some people pushing it higher but at that stage you are asking for a piston to say goodbye. So upgraded internals including connecting rods, pistons, valves and valve springs become necessary to handle the increased power levels. Custom work and machining may be required and costs rise considerably at this stage. But with a nice and big turbo and a fully built motor you could make a reliable 600 horsepower. Now I hear you say. This one guy I know makes 750 or 800 horsepower out of his Golf R or whatever. Listen, if money isn't a factor in your life, you can make stupid power. But this requires tons of work, heaps of cash, and at the end of it, very little of the original EA888 engine will be left. 
Now at the end of the video, a disclaimer. When building your engine, don't cheap out on parts. Expensive parts are expensive for a reason. Then before upgrading stuff, make sure that the maintenance is up to date. And if you open up the motor, new gaskets, bearings, etc. goes in. Don't reuse stuff. Trust me, it will come back to bite you in the ass. So what is the future of these engines? I mean the Gen 4 VW EA888 TSI engine has been released in the 2022 MK8 Golf GTI and R models, which represents VW's most technologically advanced engine to date. While tuner access to the ECU was initially limited, revised software and bolt-ons for the Gen 4 engine are gradually becoming available. The future holds great promise for exploring the full potential of the Gen 4 engine and enthusiasts can anticipate even more impressive power figures with further enhancements in tuning. But for now, the Gen 3 engine is amazing and for those of you that want to create a street beast, it's a great option. Now at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this video and this engine. I personally am quite afraid of the Golf R's whenever I go to street strip events and stuff because these things launch really, really hard. Their top end on the strip aren't all that like insane, but from a dig, these things are crazy. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like most of my stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?